Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Go High Level for real estate. So if you're a realtor or real estate agent, or maybe you are an investor in real estate, uh, you want to manage your leads through Go High Level, this is the video for you. Now, obviously, before we get started, for everyone that is watching these videos, if you're a realtor, you can get 30-day free trial on Go High Level with our link down below, and you can try Go High Level for yourself. So let's get started. You can kind of watch this tutorial and see, you know, how to pretty much manage everything through Go High Level. So once you're in Go High Level, uh, what we like to do always is go to sub accounts. And uh, once you're on the sub account, we need to create a new sub account. So once you're creating new sub account, we will have here templates that are called snapshots for uh, a sub account niche. So if you're in the financial industry, you will have financial. If you're in automotive industry, you will have automotive snapshot. But what we're looking for here is we're looking for real estate, as you can see here. Here we also have a setup guide, but we can just select and continue here. So once we have that, let's just exit out of it. Here, we'll just need to enter a, uh, if, if we're doing this for ourselves, we just need to enter our own company name. So if you're a realtor and if you're working for a uh, real estate agency, you can just put that in here. Uh, however, if you are just a uh, real estate agent for yourself or your own company, you can put that as well. If you're managing other real estate agents or, you know, anything like that, you can just put your own company as well. So uh, what I like to do is I just like to type in for right now real estate and then just select something just so I can show you. Uh, but as you can see, I'll just go here, hit save. And uh, obviously, I'll need to enter the name I think here. Yes. So I'll need to enter the name which is going to be like this. So I'll just enter it like that. Now, once we obviously the street address can be like this, let's just put this and then hit save. So it doesn't matter what you put here. I will show you in a second uh, what you need to do in order to uh, pretty much manage your entire, uh, you know, uh, client base through here. So once you're here, as you can see, what we can do is we can go to switch account and we can switch to that particular account which is called real estate here as you can see now once we are here in real estate account you will have a lot of options on the left side i will show you just a couple of options so if you're a realtor first thing that you can do is you can go to sites and in the website section you can uh, go with uh, as you can see you have real estate wholesaling so if you're into real estate wholesaling you can also do that However, if we go from templates here, you can see that we have a lot of real estate templates for real estate agents. So if you're a real estate agent, you already have pre-made templates for yourself that you can use within Go High Level. You can add your graphic designer or you can just, you know, uh, exchange uh, this right here like to something else, you know, the text. And as you can see, you have your website. So that's one thing that you can do for real estate, real estate agents, sorry. So the second thing you can do is you, in the automations, um, you probably, I think you probably already have marketing workflows here. So as you can see, you have a uh, new lead nurture. So uh, you have also appointment no show. So if someone shows or doesn't show up to your appointment, you will have follow up um, for that appointment. You'll basically have automation that will follow up with your prospect until they book another call. You also have stale leads, so the leads that uh, you know have not been in contact with you for a long time, you have that. You also have long-term nurture, so you can nurture them long over the long term. Now, the best part about this is the opportunities section here. Now, opportunities section is really, really amazing because if you click on it, let's just uh, load this up right here. You will basically have two pipelines. You have marketing pipeline, uh, and the second one is also marketing. However, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So all the new leads will come here. So let's say you want to add an opportunity. You can add an opportunity. You can, uh, you know, add the primary contact name, primary email. You can enter primary phone number as well, and everything about your potential lead. You can also put here like a note uh, for the lead. So for example, 
um, you know, the owner, anything like that. You can add and manage fields as well. You can go to settings to do that, as you can see. So for example, you can add a field that is called maybe like a, a note or, a, you know, um, right here we can see phone, uh, signature, file upload. So you can do a lot of different things. Now let's get back to the uh, opportunity section here. And yeah, basically once you have a new lead, let's say I add a new opportunity here. And um, let's say that this is um, contact. So we don't have a contact right now. So we just put an email here. The name is required. So we'll just put the name like this. We can create this as a new contact here. And once we create that, we can hit create. Obviously, you'll fill out whatever it's necessary for you. Um, and once we have that, we can just hit update. And once we hit update, we can exit out of it. And now, as you can see, this lead has been added to the new lead. So all the new leads that you're calling every single day, if you're cold calling, if you're a real estate agent or a marketing agency that is managing real estate agents, um, you know, in either way, you can manage your team members or your clients through here. So as you can see, you have new lead, new lead becomes a hot lead, hot lead becomes a new booking. Uh, obviously, if uh, that person, if you're a real estate agent, if that person, um, you know, shows up to the showcasing of the house, you can put it here. And then if it's a sale, you can put it right here. Obviously, you can ask them for a review. And after they left the review, they will be in this section right here. So very easy. Uh, this is a CRM, very easy to manage leads and everything through this one CRM. Now, obviously, the next step is contact. So contacts, uh, if you go here to contacts, Basically, um, you know, all the contacts will be here. So if you want to add contacts, you can add them right here. The best part about this is if you have an Excel sheet of contacts, you can import them right here. Just drag and drop it here. You will need to map out the name, the phone numbers and the websites of uh, those contacts. Or if you just have name and phone number. And once you add them right here, they will be added right here. So you will have all the contacts here, the name, the phone, the email, if you have and everything pretty much. And then you can go to opportunities and you can add contacts from those contacts. You can add them right here. So if you go to opportunity, you can select the contacts from this list and it will be shown right here. So by far, this is the best software. If you are a real estate agent, I would highly advise this and recommend this software for real estate agents go high level. Uh, also conversations, you can, if you connect like uh, an SMS, a number, you can go to conversations and I can basically go and select a person that I want to send message to. I can send them a message. Now we also have one tutorial where we actually went through how to create automation that will send a voice drop. Um, and basically that voice drop will uh, tell people to call you back and you can get calls back from your prospects. We can show you that in another call. This is something that you can use as a real estate agent. It's something really, really awesome. Um, and yeah, I, I just said show you in another call. I actually meant another video. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you can kind of use Go High Level for real estate, especially if you're a real estate agent. Um, obviously, you can check out some of our other videos on this as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below. And uh, obviously, if you're you know, interested in free trial, you can check out our free trial a link down below. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next upcoming Go High Level videos.